All right, guys. I'm here today to do another video with Tonight. Gabe. Oh, that's right. It's nighttime. It's technically nighttime. Gabe is going to help me learn another trick, the 5-0. Mm -hmm. Last time we were here, he was teaching me 50-50 front 180 out. Yep. At some point, I was kind of like, you know, I think I could do a 5-0, right? Honestly, and I've actually think, done this before. I think you might be able to do this easier than the front 180 out. Yeah, it might be. It's one of those pop in. You don't have to do anything but get out of it. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about this. Yeah. I've done this before, actually, but it was on the butter bench on a really low, really low ledge. And so I'm going to do it again on this ledge. It's a little bit taller. It's got a metal coping, so... You know, it'd be a little bit different. I'm thinking that I should just do a couple 50 50s. Warm up. Yeah. You're going at it kind of like at a big angle. You want to roll more parallel. And then, yeah, it'll be easier like that. The more you go like this, the more likely you're going to pop on like that. Uh huh. Just the more parallel you will roll up to it, the easier it's going to be. Okay. And just take it slow at first, and then slowly work yourself up to better. Cool. <laughs> so that was good. I took your advice about coming parallel. Yeah, it's easier, right? Yeah, that helped. All right, I think you should do one more good one, and then go for five up. Yeah, this I agree. It should be like really warm. I agree. <laughs> so yeah, that was better. I want to do one more though. Okay. Just to make sure I really got this. Your tip about going parallel helps. Yeah. I also want to try to get more speed because I'm, I'm a little bit being a scaredy cat. Yeah. So let me just try one more going faster. Just get steady on there and do it. Take All it down. Of learning. I, can, I can tell you're getting like better at them. That was so good. Dude. Yeah. That was perfect. Okay. I think part of it is like getting comfortable with skating the ledge again because yeah. we did this like I think two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I haven't skated any ledges since then. So a lot of times I, what I notice about skateboarding is like, I'll come out here and I'll just think I suck. But then I start doing some tricks and I warm up and I go, okay, I'm not that bad. Now we got to do the 5-0, yeah? Yes. Okay. So, so any advice? Basically the same thing. I want you to practice something before you, before you do the 5-0. Okay. And that is, I want you to do like, a, like an ollie where you pop up and you don't level out. And you just keep your your, tail, your nose in the air and then just land on your tail. Okay, just on flat gun. There you go. There you go. That was good. So it's basically that concept on the ledge. Exactly. You roll up to it exactly the same as a 50 50. Parallel. Parallel. Mostly parallel. Like you, you angle a tiny bit. Yeah. Mostly parallel. You just pop on and you want to pop on just enough to get on the ledge. You okay. don't want to like go super high, because then when you slam on the ledge, you're just going to stop. So okay. it's going to be harder. So you just want to go just a little, just a little bit of power, and then you're just going to do exactly what you did right there. Just keep your nose in the air, and keep your weight balanced right here. At first learning, it's going to be kind of hard to pop off. You literally, you're just going to kind of force yourself off. Okay. Just use some momentum. Kind of similar kinda to like, a 50-50. Yeah, literally just like the way that you did the 50-50, where you just like use your momentum to get off. That's what you're doing with the 5-0. All right, well, there's a chance I could do this first try. There is. I well, think so you got let's it. see. I honestly, I like these more than than 50/50s. These are really? these feel really good. All right, you let's got do it. it. Ooh, scary. It's funny. I'll tell you what I run into. Okay. It's kind of scary because like with the 50/50, like kind of the hardest part for me is getting the back truck on there. Uh huh. And then with the 5-0, it feels like I'm even more at risk of like missing and then like doing the splits. Does that make sense? It makes sense. But it's like, I, I feel like I have to get the truck over and then do this. And it just, I don't know why it seems hard in my head, but yeah. anyway, just yeah, wanted I mean, to tell you that. I think I gave you a tip about 50-50s where if you kind of focus on the ledge and where you have to aim to make it, it's a little easier. Yeah. So just focus where you want your back truck to go. Okay. And then it'll, it should make it a little easier. So weird. You're still rolling up to it like this. Oh really? Too sharply. You're too sharp on it. You wanna okay. gradual, parallel. Especially with the 5-0. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Especially. Because if you lock in like this, it is not gonna work. <laughs> Alright, you gotta okay. you gotta stay straight on the on the leg. Okay. Oh 
Almost had it. Oh! I did it! You completely missed it. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I did a 5-0. It was very short. Can we go, can we go peep it? So, I did do a 5 -0. That qualified as a 5 -0. I'm sorry I didn't see it. It's okay. I did qual check. You weren't expecting first that. First try. It wasn't, it wasn't first try. I mean, not, I mean, like for your first one. Yeah. Not like first one on this ledge, I'm proud mm -hmm. of you. I just got to, yeah. So I, now I need to do one longer. Yeah. Your tip about going really close to the ledge is good. <laughs> that was so good. That was a 5 0, huh? Yeah. I think I can, I can basically do the trick, a very simple version of the trick, but I'm just trying to get it so I can hold it just a little bit longer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you gotta keep your weight over the board. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta get over that instinct as, as soon as I get on the ledge, popping off. Exactly. Nothing bad's gonna happen if you stay on it. Okay. You're locked on. All right? All right, cool. You're doing good, that's two. I'm getting a little bit over my fear because I, I haven't really fallen once trying ledges, and I'm finally starting to realize that, like, what am I so scared of, you it's know? a little hard. Yeah. Oh, oh, see what I said! That one was good. Oh, that was good. Um, the key is like, yeah, I just gotta man up and get more speed. Cool. So good. That was so good. Dude, I'm telling you the key, like I think people say this in the comments all the time. Get more speed, get more speed. You need to man up and get hey, more speed. Go fast and commit, man. So true though. When you try to do it slow, it just it's hard. Hey, that was like the best back to back we've ever done. Dude, I want to do one more and then we'll call it a day. Alright. Uh, I like this trick. Okay. I just want to focus on getting even a little bit more speed and just committing and then doing a nice 5 out. So let's see how it goes. Looks, that one was nice. Thank you. Came in too sharp of an angle on that one. Oh. Oh. Almost got it. Almost got it. I thought that was it. Oh man. For some reason, like I got one. It's really good. I was getting a couple. It was all good. And then like it started to get really hard. So I'm trying to just take it back a little bit. See if I can just do a couple all these on the tail. Sometimes that happens for me. Yeah. Lean back. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take Richard's advice, lean back. <sighs> Too slow. There it is. Yeah, so that was intense, man. Like I landed a couple in the beginning and then I landed a really good one. And I was like, let me just do one more. And then it became so hard. It was like, all that could come in my head is like, you're not gonna land it, it's not gonna happen. You did it once. Anyway, so it's weird. That happens to me when I try tricks. I don't know what that comes from. But, what um, kind of advice did you give to someone learning this trick? I think that you, what you guys should do is watch Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 3, which is grinds and slides, and I'm dead serious. Um, it actually covers the trick. Like, no doubt having a friend who can do them is going to help, but if you have Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 3 as well as a friend, like, you're set. Without Skateboarding Made Simple, I would have not have been able to learn how to kick flip, how to ollie, how to heel flip as fast as I did. So I know that Volume 1 has helped me tremendously. So that's what I recommend that you guys do. Um, but just for my own personal advice, I mean, it's very similar to 50-50s. If you have those down really well, then it should not be hard for you to do a 5-0.
It's kind of like a 50-50, but you know, with a bit of a manual action, like lifting your front knee up, leaning back a little bit, and then you got it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do have suggestions of what I should learn, leave it in the comments below. If you guys have critiques of what I that did here today, like critiques of my 5.0, definitely leave that in the comments below. I appreciate your guys' feedback. Um, if you guys need help with anything, leave it in the comments. We'll check it out. Maybe we can make a tutorial or some other kind of videos. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your guys' support. I appreciate your guys' comments, your likes, your subscriptions, everything. So please, subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. And we'll see you next time. Follow Gabe on Instagram, at GabeCruz01. And follow the Braille channel, at BrailleSkate. Peace. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, BrailleSkateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made, and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.